Hello, so I just recorded this whole video on my computer and it did not save. So I'll try not to make it as long this time because I think it was around six minutes, but um, I am talking about creating a safe space um, for my future practice. Um, I, okay, my ideal practice is going to have at least one partner. Um, so I'm hoping that in the future we do um, monthly meetings, which is kind of what we do right now in the birth center that I'm at right now, um, that sh we do monthly meetings that um, it's, we usually do skills and drills, but we also do like another meeting where we just kind of talk about the, the office flow and how everything's going. And I feel like that would be a good time to talk about ideas, problems, concerns. Um, it would be a safe space to talk about any uh, trauma that may have happened in the last, um, well, since the previous meeting. Um, so I'm hoping that that will be, um, I can be able to implement that. Um, another thing would be um, on my informed disclosure, I need to like review that and make sure that there's a spot where I can explain to clients how they can express their concerns about trauma. Um, I try to uh, form really good relationships with the clients that we have now. And in fact, I've had a couple that have specifically asked to talk to me. Um, I think because I connected, um, to them because of our military backgrounds and things like that. Um, so I, you know, that makes me happy that people feel like they can trust me enough to talk to me about, um, specific things, of course, that, you know, need to be told to my preceptor also, but, um, when it comes to trauma, I feel like that's just a good, you know, if you have that ability to be able to connect with someone, I think that's a good thing. Um, so in my informed disclosure, I'm hoping to have a section kind of revolving around that, um, about trauma and like how to approach, um, those issues. Um, kind of lastly, I want to, um, make sure that we have traumatic, um, birth briefs, I guess is what you call it. I don't know if that's exactly what I would want to call it, but um, currently whenever we have, we've had really smooth births, knock on wood, but um, there has been a few situations where something's happened and um, we've had to deal with, you know, a situation that could have been a little traumatic, I guess. Um, and my preceptor is really good about sitting us all down whether it be that night, if it was kind of, you know, it depends on our, I guess our mood. Like if, if we felt like we needed to talk to her, I think she would be completely open to that. But, um, a lot of the times it's kind of like, okay, let's just come down off of this and, um, we'll regroup the next day or so and be able to talk about, um, what happened, what we could have done better. Um, did we follow our protocols? Should we re rewrite our protocols? Things of that nature. Um, and this is also something that we don't really do right now, but I want to implement in the future with clients also is kind of, um, a little brief when we, maybe when we do like a postpartum visit at home or something and be like, you know, now that you're home and everything's settling down a little bit, like, how do you feel about your birth? Do you feel like it went well? Do you feel like there's anything that you want to talk about? Is there anything we could have done better? I do tend to ask people that typically around the six week postpartum visit, I'll ask, um, you know, how was your care? You know, how do you feel about your care? Do you feel like it was good? Do you feel like we could do anything better? We also have a survey that we, um, give to the patients whenever they come back for the six week postpartum, um, along with like the depression scale and things like that. So they just fill it out when they get there. Um, and we kind of keep that one a little bit more anonymous. It doesn't have a name or anything on it, but I mean, they're handing it right back to us. But for future reference, like we just, we don't put names on them or anything. So anyways, um, that's just something that I want to do with my clients is just make sure that they're satisfied with their care. And if something did happen at their birth, like, you know, make sure that they're able to talk to it is, do I need to help you get any resources, um, for, you know, any trauma that may have happened during your birth? Um, for instance, like if there was resuscitation or something, something like that, um, Am I the one that's going to be able to help you? Do you feel like you need um, any other type of professional support? How can I help you? Um, those type of things. So that's kind of my plan. It's really just meeting after meeting um, and making sure that in my informed disclosure that they um, 
feel like there's something that touches on tra um, trauma so they feel like they can um, open up and I have, I'm creating a safe space for them to come to me and talk to me. I think that's about it. Thanks.